everyone! Today I'll be doing an overview of the ultra custom mechanical keyboard sent to me from Ponage. I received it in the color white with white keycaps and I really like the fun packaging it came in. This keyboard is a full size keyboard with 104 keys and the case has an aluminum top frame and pre-installed dampening foam. The bottom has folding feet with three height options as well. It definitely feels very sturdy but not too heavy weighing at about 3.75 pounds. In addition to the keyboard, it also came with a USB-C cable, a switch and keycap puller, and a manual. Ponage also sent me four extra top cover plates because this keyboard is very customizable in regards to case color and keycaps. They all come in so many different color options, meaning that it will be very easy to match my keyboard with a specific theme. I love that these feel high quality because I've tried hot swappable keyboard covers in the past with other brands, and they sometimes feel flimsy or like you'll break them just by handling them. They seem quite solid and I'm excited to try them out in a bit. As I mentioned, the case color is easy to change out, but so are the switches. The Ultra Custom Keyboard features Gatoron optical switches and I received the blue clicky ones. These can be removed with the included switch puller and be replaced with other Gatoron optical switches. As for keycaps, Ponage sent me four matching sets too. All their keycaps, including the white ones already on the keyboard, are shine through, double shot PBT keycaps. These support the full 104 key layout and are easy to mix and match. Now that the keyboard is unboxed, I wanted to test out the customizable top cover plates. It was held on by strong magnets and you can see the exposed case underneath. I did have to use some precision snips to remove this piece of plastic on the left, which I guess was left over from the manufacturing process, but it wasn't very difficult. After that, I was able to easily snap the cover on and my keyboard is now purple. I went through the rest of the covers and had to snip the little plastic portion on each one, testing each color on the keyboard along the way. My personal favorites out of the four are the purple and mint. Next, I wanted to test out the keycaps, so I started out with the purple cover, then pulled all the trays out onto the table. I wasn't really going for any specific theme here, but I found that it was really easy to quickly customize the keycaps and the color placement into something unique and fun. Just to see what it looked like, I also changed the plate color. Again, it's so easy to do and I'm glad it doesn't require any additional steps or tools. In case you didn't know, Ponage actually has a customizable mouse with the same concept, allowing you to change things like plate and button colors. The colors for the mouse match the keyboard accessories as well, so I decided to customize the keyboard to match one of my favorite mouse combinations. I also added some artisans from Capsmiths and Plink this time around. Ultimately, I decided to go with the pink top cover and use the mint and purple as accent keys. I think they match pretty well. For the last look, because I had five colors at my disposal, I wanted to try out a gradient theme with purple being the main color in the middle. One thing I noticed about this process was that I didn't have any trouble removing the switches on accident. With some hot swap keyboards, the switches will get pulled out while simply trying to remove keycaps, and something like that could be annoying for a full-size keyboard. However, all the switches were super snug, which makes the process even easier. I didn't know which top cover I wanted to go with, so I tried them all out and ended up going with purple because it looked the most balanced in the theme out of all five. Now that I've completely customized the keyboard to my liking, I wanted to test out the RGB lighting. I used the manual to figure out the hotkeys, and I see there's a dedicated key to cycle through all the modes. As you can see, it looks pretty cool and the shine through keycaps look great with it. Overall, I think this is a great keyboard for someone who would like to try out an entry-level mechanical keyboard. Personally, as someone who is deep in this hobby and loves to collect all kinds of switches, I'm not a very big fan of optical keyboards. The customization just isn't there for me because my switch options become very limited. However, I'm absolutely in love with the visual aspect of the customization process for this one. I've always been a fan of Ponage and their custom mice, and I find myself customizing the look of both of mine quite a lot because I love to take themed photos with matching accessories. While I definitely know it's an option to buy a plain hot swap keyboard and source out your own keycaps and switches, the fact that they offer plate covers and many keycap color options for one product is pretty cool. 
If you are someone who likes to change things up every once in a while, but don't want to invest in the mechanical keyboard hobby and may not have the room to, I highly recommend checking this one out. It's also not as common to find full-size mechanical keyboards with this type of customization, and I get asked a lot about full-size layouts, so this will probably be my go-to recommendation for that. As for the sound profile, like I said, these feature optical blue switches, and I know not everyone is a fan of clicky switches, but I do think it was still pretty fun to type on. I don't really mind clicky switches in general while gaming, but I can't say that this would be my first choice for typing out a YouTube script or answering emails. That's absolutely just my personal preference though, and you can easily choose tactile brown or linear red switches instead if you aren't a fan. Something I definitely noticed though was that the noise dampening foam did help the keyboard sound and feel nicer, which other entry-level mechanical keyboards usually don't contain. I find that a lot of entry levels will sound hollow and springy while typing, and this just wasn't the case here, and I really appreciated that. At the time of filming this video, the Ultra Custom Mechanical Keyboard can be found on Ponage.com at the starting price of about $110 USD. The price does go up as you choose more color options and accessories, and you can even order coiled cables that match too. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. If you enjoyed this overview and would like to see more, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have a macro pad build coming soon and another keyboard build and I can't wait to share. Thank you again to Ponage for sponsoring this video and thank you all for watching!